In this exercise we will carry out a voltage profile optimization. Activate the voltage profile optimization study case. In the tools menu, ensure the distribution network tools is selected. Then, from the associated toolbox, select the option voltage profile optimization. In this dialog ensure that the parameters are set up as displayed. Execute the optimization. From the Distribution Network Tools toolbox select the Reports Voltage Profile Optimization icon. In this dialog activate the report for optimal tap positions, voltage drop violations, and voltage rise violations. Select Execute. Three tabulate reports will be generated. The first tabulate report details any elements that have a critical voltage rise. A critical voltage rise was earlier defined as any rise above 1.08 per unit. In this case there are no such violations. The second report details any elements that have a critical voltage drop. This is when the voltage drops below the lower voltage limit, here specified as 0.92 per unit. MV load 845 is the only load with such a voltage drop. The critical voltage drop is present in the LV grid. You can see this in the voltage LV grid, min, consumption case, in the unit column. The value is clearly lower than the limit of 0.92. The final report details the optimal tap positions, which can be seen in this column. Now we will create a voltage profile plot. A voltage profile plot can be created for any feeder. From the distribution network tools toolbar select the voltage profile plot icon. Now select the feeder for which you want to display the plot. Select the default options. Here you can see the voltage profile plot. The y-axis details the voltage in per unit, whilst the x-axis details the progression from one end of the feeder to the other in kilometers. The green plot shows results for the production case. The blue plot shows results for the consumption case. You can see large voltage drops occur where particular loads are connected. You can interact with the diagram by double-clicking at various points in the diagram. For instance this shows the parameters associated with a particular MV load object. The voltage profile optimization calculation has calculated the optimal tap positions for the MV transformers in the network. The tap position values in the database can be updated to the new optimal values. The best way to do this is by creating an operation scenario. and then updating the database. Ensure that the distribution transformer taps option is selected. Let's look at a particular MV load. You can see with the optimal tap positions operation scenario active, the tap position is set to zero. If the operation scenario is deactivated, the tap position returns to 2.